Hey, what is going on guys? Already at Stealth here, and in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at how to hard carry low elo with Echo. So we're going up against Orion in this matchup here. In this matchup, you just wanna do your best to not take a ton of poke early on in the laning phase. So notice Orion is zoning me here. This guy actually seems not like a bad Oriana player. Um, he's zoning me from the wave, and you're gonna have to miss a little bit of CS in this matchup here. Maybe we get this one, no we don't. So we just wanna let her push into us. We're gonna miss a couple, it's gonna happen. Like we just don't wanna get chunked super hard here in the first level so that we have to base early on. Our main objective in this lane here is to farm for 750 gold and then base because what her main, what her base time or her ideal base time is, it's 1300 gold for Lost Chapter. Our ideal base time is 750 gold for Dark Seal Dorans. So if we can base, get that 750 gold, or base when you have 750 gold, grab that Dark Seal Dorans, then we're gonna, if we can TP back to lane, we're gonna be at such an advantage against her because if we if we force her to TP back before she has lost chapter, then we're just gonna be at a big advantage in this matchup here. So that's what we're gonna be playing for. We don't really care to like trade with her, or we don't really care to like um, try to, you know, poke her at all in this lane. We just wanna do our best to CS, stay up in CS. We're even right now. She's actually taking a lot of poke from uh from minions so that's good for us so yeah we just want to let her push into us for the most part we can use her w to help us cs this wave here so we can just put down her w and then we can move up get the shield here and then we can just easily get the cannon so you do that when you when you're going in for like a cannon or something and the enemy has like a lot of poke you can just use your w like that don't be afraid to use your w like that it's only actually 30 mana it doesn't cost very much mana at all so it's just that it does have a long cooldown. So once it is down and you like, if you're, if you th think you're gonna get ganked or something, then you do have to play a little bit more safe. So right here, I'm getting close to the 750, right? So I'm, I can play a little bit more aggressive now. Like I can take a little bit more poke because all I need to do really is get this little bit of, a little bit more gold here and then I can get my base in. So I don't really care too much now about like taking poke. So I'm just gonna walk up here, make sure I just get these last hits. The poke that I take right now really doesn't matter. The only thing I care about is getting these last hits. So we're gonna do this here. And now on this next wave, we can look for we can look for a reset. Because we'll have our 750. If I CS'd perfectly, I could have based on this wave right now. I could have based right now when this cannon wave is coming in, but I did miss a couple CS, so what we'll do here is we'll just push the wave. We'll use our W, right? Use your W when you're trying to hard push so that it um, it just forces the enemy to like move back a little bit. They're more hesitant to like try to move in and poke you. So we're just gonna do this here. We don't even care about trading with her. Honestly, like we could jump in here for a trade, but let's make sure we get the cannon instead. That's more worth it for sure. And now we're gonna get a base in. So really good start to the lane. We're gonna get a base in here. Dark Seal Dorans, we can grab a pink as well. And now she's out of mana. So now I force her to TP back without lost chapter and it puts her in a pretty bad spot. So we're just gonna TP right back to lane here. And if she bases now, which she should. Okay, so if she doesn't base right, if she stays around for lost chapter, she's in like a really bad spot. She's got no pressure at all. But if she does base and TPs back, she won't have enough for lost chapter. So I have the advantage now in this lane. Oh, she went tier. Okay, um, you, don't, you don't see that on Orianna very often these days. I, I mean, do you? Maybe you do actually. I don't know. I don't see it very often myself. I don't know. Jesus, I took a lot of damage there. I did not expect that damage. What the hell was that? Okay, we're actually not in the greatest spot now. Damn, I did not expect to take like my full health bar from Vi there. What the hell? All right, so we gotta play a little bit safe now then. I did not, I don't know. I didn't expect that that gank there to, to do that much to me. But we do still have, like we have good sustain, so we should be able to like, find a base time here. I definitely want to try to get a base in if I can. We're just going to put a defensive pink right here. <laughs> and we can try to try to fish for a W here, fish for a trade onto her. We got our six too. So that's what you can look to do. That's a really good trading pattern with Echo. Um, just sit in behind the fog of war there, sit in behind the wall and just look to go for a trade. They don't see your W coming down. So oftentimes you just get a really free trade off. We get another poke, we're, we get another chunk there, and we could actually dive her here. We have her alt up. So if she moves too far forward here, we can threaten for a dive. That's really unfortunate. That's really, really unfortunate. I had to alt back there or else I would have died, but she lives with 18 HP. Damn. All right, it's fine. Surprised she didn't actually flash there either. That's so greedy by her. I don't know. All right, we'll just clear this out and we'll get a base in here. Actually, we could stay and push this next wave. Let's stay and push this next wave. 
Because she's like completely, like she's super low. So we can deny her a little bit here. We got Graves mid as well. I kind of hate it when my junglers uh, hold the wave like that though. Because then it makes it difficult to line up your Q. But we should be fine here. Nice. Okay, we're in a pretty good spot. We'll grab our sweeper now. We're going to be able to start roaming here. We're level 7. I guess one thing I didn't talk about yet is that I used all my dematerializers on the back wave on the casters. Um, and that's what you want to do because once you get level 7 and once you have enough AP, I do have enough AP right now. I'm pretty sure you need like 70 something AP to one hit the back wave. And you need to use your demats all on the back wave. And then once you hit the level 7, like right now, watch when I use my Q on these minions here. It'll just one shot the entire back wave, which is really nice for me. Okay, I missed the cannon. God damn it. But now I can start like I can start pushing and roaming really well here. We want to ping this out. Orion is roaming bot. My team probably dies because I was late on that ping. Oh, that was my bad. If they die here. I'm just gonna pressure mid though. There's no point in me roaming bot. Because if even if I get bot, like we probably don't clean up anything. And it's more worth it for you to take the 100% play. The 100% play here, and they still get a kill, so it's really good. The 100% play is for me to get two plates. I get what? 320 gold? So I get basically a kill's worth of gold from plates, and I'm still getting uh, XP from minions here. I'm getting gold from minions, so. Unless it's like a. Unless you see the enemies just like super low, and you know you're gonna be able to get a kill, or you know you're gonna be able to get get like two kills then i think it's worth it for you to roam but if you're only gonna get one kill it's way more worth it for you to just stay mid and i don't know what he's doing here uh do we have to alt no we don't even have to alt i don't know what he's doing there i guess he doesn't realize that i can just straight up dive him all right well that works out so yeah we basically the game's over now the game's pretty much over for the most part we're up cs we're up almost double cs we got like a bunch of plates here I don't even, I'm not even worried about buy, honestly. I just want to get this plate and then I'll base. So yeah, we won't stay for another wave. We want to reset, keep our tempo up in lane, right? Really important to make sure you're just always, you know, in lane when the enemy laner is so that you can continue to pressure them once you have a lead. Don't give them any opportunities to roam or anything. So we're just going to base here. We're going to grab a revolver, grab this, and then we don't have enough for our portable yet, but that's fine. And we'll start heading back to lane now. We shouldn't miss. We might miss, uh, we'll miss like... A couple minions here from this wave. Well, they actually might miss the whole wave. But it's fine. Alright, we got Graves on Dragon there. So yeah, we missed like, what, four minions there of XP? Well, we're so far ahead in this lane right now that it doesn't really matter too much. Okay, Ori's roaming top now. Okay, these roams are really, really odd from Ori. I'm not pinging them out because I'm not really expecting them, honestly. Like, for her to roam here is like... Not a great play, because I'm... Like, her mid tower is super low now. I can just take plates and take this tower. So it doesn't really... Like, it's not even really worth it. They get a kill, right? But it's it's not even really worth it for her. Like, I'm just getting a lot of... Uh, I'm getting a lot of value out of staying mid here. I've gotten every single plate in the game right. Plates are worth so much. People really don't, uh, I guess, understand how much plates are worth. Like, I think I've gotten at least, like, 600 gold, maybe, from plates this game. And I can just dive her again here. If she stays, I can zone her from this entire wave. Uh, damn, she's got. Ah, uh, I hate Nimbus Cloak, man. It's so annoying. Maybe like, I'm trying to think here. If I would have flashed, I don't. I don't think I would have got it if I flash. Because if I flash, I get one auto. One auto isn't enough to kill her, and then she's got the Nimbus Cloak move speed. So I don't think. I think I just int there. I think I just waste my flash if I try to go for that. All right, we got the tower though. Really, really good. We're gonna roam towards bot now. We should be able to get a kill on Caitlyn bot here if she stays. Eh. Alright, Jenna saw me. I can set up a possible dive play here. We'll see. Eh. It's too risky. We don't have a wave. Let's just base. Let's just reset here. We got a lot of gold. No point in staying around wasting time. I'm gonna actually lose a wave mid here for this. For delaying my base, but it's fine. Alright, we'll grab Portable. We'll just go into a, uh, we actually don't have our free boots yet. Wait, where are our free boots? Okay, they just came in. Good. So we'll grab this, and then we'll... Eh. Honestly, I should just, I'm just gonna sell my pink, and I'm gonna grab, grab one of these. Alright, Ori's, okay, never mind, she's not roaming. I gotta be a little bit more, pay attention a little bit more to my pings. I haven't been pinging Ori missing this game, which is kind of bad. But it's kind of difficult, like, I'm trying to... You're trying to think about so many different things at once when you're doing a commentary. I'm going to TP bot here if they go in. 
We're gonna go on... Oh geez, the trap. All right, we got one kill. That's the one thing about TPing into a Caitlyn though, is that she just plants a trap, a, a trap down, right? And it's pretty difficult for you to do anything, but we still ended up getting one kill, so it's fine. And we we saved our team from dying too. Honestly, I probably like, I probably didn't even need to TP there because my team was safe. But you just just make sure your team doesn't die, right? Like, there's no there's no other play for me to really make at this point in the game. Like, I'm not losing anything for TPing bot there. I'm not losing like anything mid. So I think it's a fine play to make, even if we only get one kill. All right, now I can just start shoving and roaming, right? At this point in the game, no point in me staying mid and trying to kill Ori. Like, just shove and roam. So, I mean, there's no play really top right now. I can just keep pressuring mid. I don't know where Ori is. Did she AFK? She might have AFK'd, but I'm just going to keep pressuring mid for now because there's no play. I can't really go top. My board's not there yet. I could look for a dive play bot, though. My Graves is uh, playing pretty aggro there. Dude, what is this Oriana doing, man? She, like, just missed a couple waves. So yeah, we'll just keep pressuring. Keep looking for roam opportunities. We got Vi coming into her jungle here, so we can set something up. I'm gonna wait for my... Eh, I don't think Grace will be able to make it in time. Alright, we get her flash out. Are you kidding, man? They keep lit... <laughs> They, oh my god. This Ori lived with like 2 HP. This Vi lived with like 2 HP. Alright, we still got the kills, so it works out. Alright. Okay, let's look for a roam play top now. We could look for a dive play top here. If I can just get a stun on Renekton, I'm fine. Um, even though I'm pretty low right now, if I stun him and if I just chunk him enough for Mord to finish him off, I think it's fine. So let's just see. If I don't get the stun, we don't go in. But if I do, we, we go in. Okay, I gotta ult right back out. Yeah. So we didn't get the stun. It's worth a shot, right? I got my ult up. Might as well try for it. If I get the stun, I think we probably kill him. Or at least we maybe burn his flash. But I'll just base now. It's just all about being proactive with your lead, right? Look for these plays. I know that Vi's not going to be here to like counter gank or anything. I got my ult up. There's no way I died to the dive. So just be proactive when you have a lead. So now I can just sell my... I'm just going to sell this for a Sheen. We could actually just wait on. Let's wait on an Aether, Whift, an Aether Wisp here as well. Pick that up. And yeah, everybody's honestly doing pretty well this game. Like, even if I were to not do too well, we just have the winning bot lane, which is really good. So, we probably would have won this game even if I didn't uh, destroy lane, but... So right now, honestly, we have bot tower down, right? The better play here is for our bot lane to like rotate and go for Herald and uh, just play on the play on mid to top side. Like them being bot right here is just inting. Like there's just no reason for them to be bot. Like you already got bot tower down. Go top, take top tower, go, go for a Herald. Like this is just a, a macro play that I guess in this elo players struggle to, or they just don't realize that they can, they should be making it. But yeah, once you get bot tower down, if you're playing bot lane, like you should, I guess I could ping that out too. I could, I, I could be communicating better, of course. I can tell my team to go top or tell my bot lane to go top, which is, which is what I probably should have done. But yeah, once you, once you usually get bot lane down, it's usually best for me to be the one bot, like, right? If I have my TP, if I can just go bot with my TP and my team plays mid to top, then it, that's the, that's the best way to play it. So I'm just going to back up my Mordekaiser here. We got Vi. Oh, I thought she was going to walk right into me. Does she win this? Nah. Alright, I'll just, uh... Wait, what the hell? I didn't even see this Renekton in there. That was kind of weird. He just kind of appeared. What the hell was that? That was really strange. Okay, I don't actually know what we're doing here. This is kind of troll. <laughs> um, we should just grab this tower, I think. And I guess we can... Where'd Ori go? What? Oh, did more ult Ori? Is that why? What happened? Maybe? 
I don't really want to dive here and give up a shutdown, honestly. I guess we can keep pressuring, though. We should be able to get this tower. Honestly, this is a bad play if we get inhibit at this point in the game. Uh, not good. Not not good to take this early. Yeah, it's not good to take inhib this early because we're just losing XP. We're just losing farm. Like, we're ahead so far. It's just a bad macro play to take inhib at 17 minutes. Um, if we if we were bot side, I think it's, it's fine because we could pressure for Baron with the inhib down bot. But the fact that it's on top side, it doesn't really give us that much value here. So I, I just don't think it's the best play. Because we just lose, we entirely just lose out on CS from top wave, which just isn't really good. And we just give the enemy team just free farm. Um, I think he's dead. I'm not going to TP here. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to TP into that. I could just get chain CC'd and I just have to alt out. So instead, let's just look for a flank play here. We'll just look for something. Uh, I'm dead. What the hell was that chain CC? Jesus Christ. Like, did I get... Did I get rooted? I got Vi ulted Renekton stunned, I guess. Uh, okay, that's really troll. Damn, I shouldn't have even went in there. But at the same time, I don't know why we're pushing up mid like this. Oh, it's, it's my bad, man. It's my bad. I shouldn't have even gone in there. I should just look to split bot. So yeah, that's just a... Honestly, like, I thought I could get in there and, like, chunk somebody and get out, but I guess I didn't... Okay, they have Vial, Renekton Stun, Kate Trap. Like, they have just a lot of Chain CC, so... I have to, uh, I have to take that into account for, for the next couple fights here. Dragon's up in 50. We just play for this. Just play for Dragon. Don't even, uh, don't even go for this. Just play Dragon. We get a pick at Dragon here. Like, this is... This is how you want to be playing Echo mid game, right? Always be trying to get to objectives before they spawn, like 40 seconds at least, and look for a pick. So we got Janna coming in for a face check here. We should get a free kill on Janna. Okay. I don't know what happened there. Did she, like... Ah, see, if I was there a little bit quicker, right? If I was just there five seconds earlier, we got a kill on Janna, because I would have been sitting in this bush and I would have uh, just got a pick on her. So that's it's just all about being, like with Echo, it's so important to be at an objective before it spawns, like a little bit before it spawns. Like try to be there 45 seconds, set up vision, sweep around, and just get a pick when they have their support, like face checking you. Like right here, we should just be sitting in this bush, honestly, I don't know. I mean, I guess I'm just zoning for the dragon. We can just do the dragon, it's fine. All right, that's pretty free. I just want to play this slow here. I don't want to get chain CC'd again. Should get another kill on Kate though. Nice. Okay. So yeah. My team can easily take the dragon, right? There's no reason for me to be on the dragon. So I'm just zoning there with my W, zoning with my Q. Just make sure they can't get in. Echo's really, really good at zoning. It's like one of the best zone champions in the game when you're when the enemy's trying to come through a choke. So just make sure you're doing that with them. And now we have we have Dragon Soul Win Condition here. We have, we're in a really good spot. I don't know why. My Graves doesn't need to be bought with me here. I mean, I don't know if I can just dive this by. I don't want to run it down here. All right, we can. If I do that, we can. If I get a passive proc and I can just burst her right away, then we can. All right, so that's all about, like that play right there, that was just all about using my protobelt to help me proc my passive, right? Really, really good thing to do. We could dive Caitlyn here if she stays too. Nice. So if you're trying to like get a get the proc off on your Q, right? Like if I didn't protobelt there, I wouldn't have killed Vi. But I protobelted forward so that the second part of my Q would hit her for the passive proc, and then we we were able to get the uh, get the chunk, and that's gonna that's gonna end the game. So it's a pretty solid game, honestly. I think we played you know we played to our objective in the early game, right? Played for our. Uh, Dark Seal Doran Spike, we came back to lane, we had really good pressure on Orianna, so hopefully you guys did enjoy this video, hopefully you learned something from it. If you did, then be sure to drop a like, subscribe if you haven't already, so thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next one.